Hello traders, this is Fawad Razak Salam, Market Analyst for City Index. Today is the 9th of October 2023. I'm here to give you a quick market update. And as you can see, there are still gaps left in the markets following the weekend conflict between Hamas and Israel. Though some of those moves have unwound a little bit, um, the gaps remain quite big in the case of crude oil, as you can see. And obviously, gold is still showing a relatively large gap as well, which makes it a little bit difficult to trade gold, uh, given what's happened. So instead of gold, it may be worth keeping an eye on the dollar yen, not only because it has uh, moved lower because of the raised risk aversion, but also we have some very important economic indicators coming out from the US this week, including CPI and University of Michigan's Consumer Sentiment Survey on Friday. So last week, actually, the dollar yen created this doji-like candle on the weekly time frame, which is perhaps a, an indication that rates may have formed a top, especially given that it's trading at around 150 psychologically important level, where roughly last year it started to sell off from and that was, remember, driven by intervention from the Japanese government. And although there was a hint of some intervention last week when rates dropped sharply, that was not confirmed whether there was some intervention or not. But it looked like it was, didn't it, given how sharply it fell at one point um, last week. Obviously, if you don't trade the weekly time frame, it may make sense to zoom in to your um, preferred time frame just to see whether there's any real commitment from the sellers on the downside, given how strong the bullish trend has been of late. Now for more analysis, make sure to check out the news and analysis section at cityindex.com. Happy trading.